What a final we've got in store. There's certainly been the two best sides on show here this afternoon. Gala led by George Graham. It's Grant Somerville, Craig Keddie, Chris Ald, Gary Graham, Lee Miller uh, out onto the pitch. And Ewan Dodd's the last man on the pitch for Gala. Greg Cottrell, John Coots, Graham Hogg, Rory Hutton, and of course Keith Davis, Rory Scott, and uh, out there as well, Scott McLeod. We're set for a bumpy ride in this final. Here we go on as Gala at the off. It's George Graham on the ball, feeds the ball out to Lee Miller. Miller then feeds it to Chris Ald. Chris Ald having to run back on the halfway line, back to Lee Miller. Miller then has a look up and under the floodlights here at Netherdale. Ewan Dodge feeds it back to George Graham. George Graham breaks the tackle and he's away now. Down that far side, good tackle as uh, Graham Hogg comes in with a big hit on George Graham on the far side. The field Hoyt penalised on the deck though. Chance for a tap and go here for Gala. Picked up then by Craig Keddy. Keddy out to Dodge. Dodge along the line, taking on by Miller missed but John Coots picks up and John Coots kicks ahead now the chase is on John Coots up against Miller and John Coots is leading the race and John Coots could be in for the try does he touch down I think he has I think he's got the touchdown he has in the right hand corner great footballing skills there from John Coots and he's gone in for the first try in this final Gala nil Hoig 5 yeah just a mistake there by Gala they were the team in possession and uh, just looking a little bit lateral didn't want, were able to break the Hoig line ball lost and uh, Coots just hacked it ahead I think three times he had to kick it ahead they had good football and skills as you say just to keep it in control just weighted it nicely to land it over the uh, over the goal line and then won the foot race there referee struggling just to keep up with the, the assistant referee did a great job of being on the spot I think he was probably the man that gave the signal here we go then Rory Hutton on the ball puts a high one into there up goes Keith Davis up goes Ewan Dodds Davis wins that one Rory Scott he's been very impressive for Hoyk flicks the ball back inside the Hoyk half as uh, Greg Cottrell struggling to gather that ball in play 10 metres inside the high calf picked up then by Rory Hutton Hutton uh, kind of half caught there feeds the ball out to John Coots Coots caught well ball by Craig Keddie balls there Hoyt trying to win it back but it's not Ewan Dodds comes in to steal Chris Hall gets the ball and Chris Hall's right down the middle and Chris Hall's away for Gala spots Hoyt in half and he's down what a game what a final it's Gala 5 it's Hoyt 5 yeah, Ewan Dodds been exceptional at the breakdown today he did same same again there he sort of leant over big long arms over the top of the breakdown the referee said yeah the ball was out the back there picked it up and uh, quickly threw it out in the midfield and, and Chris Ald he, he just straightened it a quick look outside he had a couple of players there but uh, but Hoyk had been supporting the, the man in attack and so they only had a couple of defenders out there too much uh, space to try and cover and, uh, and all just big step off the left foot straightened up and straight under the post surely the conversion can't be missed here Gala should go ahead the should Lee Miller then doinks that one over and it's Gala who go in front in this final two and a half just about three minutes now played in fact in this final Lee Miller Miller on the ball for the home side. Of course, he will be a miss to Gala next season as he joins London Scottish come the end of the season. It's a high kickoff and a whole hike leave it, but it's a, just got a hand to it. Picked up then by Greg Cottrell. Cottrell on the ball, has a look up, oh, feeds the ball out, and Hoyt playing some dangerous rugby in front of their own post. They've kept it alive behind their own try line, and it's uh, Graham Hogg who has to kick downfield and is bouncing about. Picked up then by George Graham. George Graham on the Hoyt 22. He breaks one tackle then two he offloads and it's going to be Grant Somerville and Grant Somerville could be and he is in the far right corner certainly the home crowd are loving that one great try again just Hoyt putting themselves under you know they're causing their own downfall here the yep. passing's not crisp they're playing it you know fair play Graham Hogg cleared it but then George uh, Graham kept it alive broke the tackle fed it out and Grant Somerville from the 22 nobody's got to catch him and he pounces to the right hand corner Kudsen has to run backwards into uh, Rory Hutton Rory Hutton oh, spins away from Ewan Dodds Rory Hutton again where's he going oh he's made a cracking break here now it's a 2 and one but it's Graham Hogg on his outside Rory Hutton is still going tap tackled oh what a pick up Keith Davis and Davis is away he's been chased by Somerville but Davis my goodness what a run from the boy from Harwood and he's going to go in for the touchdown he in fact bounced over the line he didn't touch down he made aware that he had to run the post he did and it's now Gala 12
12. Hoig 10 with the conversion to come. What a break from Hutton. What a pick up from Keith Davis. Yeah, I mean, absolutely off his bootlaces there. I mean, Hutton, Hutton is the architect yet again. He's been brilliant this afternoon. Just kind of weaves his way. Maisie running upfield there. And uh, just as he was caught in the tackle, went down, just threw it one-handed. Conversion went over, 12 all. Now, you remember, Keith Davis was trekking. Grant Somerville was yeah, chasing yeah, yeah. him. And that just shows you the speed of Keith Davis because Grant Somerville ain't no slouch. Yeah, well, uh, George Graham with a throw in on the hike 22. Good take by Ewan Dodds. Comes out then to Lee Miller. Miller looking for a wee gap. Oh, he's passed yeah. through. And Miller's, oh, what a tackle. Again, Rory Scott, but he half got him. Hike have tackled him right on the line. Are they over the trial and they're held up? I'll tell you what, Rory Scott, stand up and take a bow, son, from a hike point of view. That was a crucial tackle. Miller got away, but he just managed to get the tip tackle on him. The tap tackle, which lost the footing. And then Hoyt got back, and it was Greg Cottrell that got in underneath him, the Hoyt captain. Here goes John Coots again. He feeds it out to Scott McLeod. McLeod then cuts back inside. Great tackle. Oh, big hit from George Graham on Scott McLeod. Ten metres inside the Hoyt half. And the Hoyt, a gal come out the ball. And it's Ewan Dodds down the stand side. Dodds then. Has he got the legs? He's been chased all the way. Oh, and is he stopped around a metre shot? Feeds the ball to George Graham. And then George Graham is tackled right in that far right corner. It's Hoyt 12, Gala 12. Gala get the ball away. Gary Graham. He's going for the line, he gets over. Gary Graham has put Gala back in front in this final. It's Gala 17, it's Hoyt 12. Deep in injury time in the first half. What a first half we've had here. Unbelievable. How hard do Gala have to work to get themselves across that dry line? It's difficult to see whether it, whether it's 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 Gala wasting chances or Hoyt's defence. I'm going to credit Hoyt's defence because see they're fighting for absolutely everything. George Graham is to the floor. He's the man that's making Gala tick. He, he is having an exceptional, it's an exceptional afternoon. He's a very good final as well and uh, but it was his brother Gary there that just that they had the space he just stuck his head down he says I'm getting across that try line there were two white players sort of came in to try and make the tackle but he bulldozed them out of the way touchdown Gala do have a half time lead I think they probably deserve a half time lead but uh, you know I, I, I'm, I'm not going to call it yet 10 very exciting minutes ahead of us Chris All then looking for the runners. He's got it now from George Graham, but Keith Davis is in there to take him down. Does well, George Graham feeds it to Craig Kenny, and Kenny's away! Craig Kenny on the loose, now for Gala. Inside pass to Gavin Young, great pass, and Gavin Young is going to go in for the try. It opened up for Craig Kenny, Gavin Young on his shoulder, and Gala extending the lead in this final. It's Gala 24, it's Hoik 12. Great running from Craig Kenny. Now, where's he going now? Feeds the ball back inside the channel to Lee Miller, Miller has a look up back on the halfway line, pass out to, oh, to Somerville, that's gone forward, surely referee oh. what? You're having a laugh, that was forward but anyway, Gala have it, they're going to go in for a try and I'll tell you what, that is a try that should never have been, that should never have been a try, Bruce Miller I'm looking around just to see, I get an indication if, if we've missed someone there, because it, yeah, was, it, it was clearly, I think it was Somerville, the, the ball came to me, realised he was going to get hit man and ball had to kind of shovel it on. I'll tell you what, if you look at the highlights on Border Rugby TV later on, <laughs> you'll clearly see it was a knock-on. But nonetheless, the Gala have played it on, they've played to the yeah. whistle, and they've gone in for the try. And I think that try is going to secure the Gala title. Here we go then, the restart. Hoyk will try and go out for it, Keith Davis. But what a pick-up from you, Dodd. What a lovely layoff for Ben Murray. And Ben Murray is going to go in for the try. It's Gala 36. It's Hoyk 12. It's all about Gala. Gala today, that is for sure and Ben Murray goes in, what a restart, what a take from Ewan Dodds into the basket of Ben Murray and Ben Murray goes in for the try on the halfway line, feeds it out to Neil Rennick, Rennick then on the ball kicks ahead, Neil Rennick trying to chase on his own kick here, Neil Rennick 
floor, bounces over his head and it's picked up now by George Graham who kicks the ball into the stand and it's all over here at Netherdale and Gala kick off the Kings of the Sevens circuit in style by winning their own tournament, defeating Hoyk in the final by 38 points to 12. Now if Gala can hang on to that squad that they've got, they could do some serious damage in the Kings of the Sevens circuit this season. It's been a long time coming, I mean there's been a lot of promise for these Gala Sevens for years but we've never actually fulfilled our potential but we finally, uh, finally went out there and won a tournament and it felt great. One round gone, it's Melrose next. Oh bring it on, I mean the guys are feeling confident now after, after a, a win like that so yeah looking forward to Melrose next week, it'll be, it'll be even harder with, with having that preliminary game but bring it on, can't wait. Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome to Tile Style. For a unique customer experience, come to the Borders' number one tile showroom. So remember, do it with Tile Style. <laughs>